What's up, my dudes? Smart on here. Today we are going to be talking about this new store item. It's been a bit since I've uh, made a video, but I uh, logged on to uh, retail for the first time in a bit. Finally hit level 60. I've uh, been running raids and stuff and classics. It's been pretty dope. Um, I'm going to start making some more videos, kind of, maybe some more gold guides, um, etc., etc. Um, you know, some herbals and routes and how to make some gold and, you know, hours and whatnot. Um, with that being said, today we're talking about some retail WoW news, I guess, kind of bullshit that they added to the game. What they added was a spirit dart. It's pretty much a transmog set. And what the transmog set is, <clears throat> is currently, is if you're uh, subscribed for six months, you're already mad to get it. So if you get, if you're wearing this and you have the six month subscription, okay, you're kind of exempt from this criticism. Um, but when it comes to now up into a six month to get this, okay, I still get it. But what Blizzard's doing here is bullshit because if you think about it, um, it's only available through December 13th, 2020. So, it, it, but that's only talking about the offer, not necessarily the transmog itself. So right now what they're kind of doing is they're using, um, attaching this on, or the, this transmog onto a service but only for a certain amount of time. It's supposed to kind of like make people more acceptable go, or like accept to go, you know, it's only because it's only a six month, you know, subscription bonus. I'm not actually purchasing it, whatnot. Um, which I would get if you got a, you know, feast of strength achievement for it, or it disappears after it's kind of like, you know, this, this little guy, the spectral Griffin, you know, you get that from the scroll of resurrection. You don't actually get to purchase it. And so, um, let's go back to the store real quick. And so, if you think about it, you know, they added a new thing, transmogs. And it's $20 by itself. It's standalone $20. So, if you don't want to pay for the six months, you can then give Blizzard money to purchase, which in my opinion is a pretty ugly um, transmog. Uh, I'll get more into the how it looks in a second. Just still kind of venting about why this sucks and this should not be in the game. Um, <clears throat> again, yeah, it's twenty dollars alone, standalone, but it's uh, th this pretty much becomes the new price for the transmog in uh, a little, little less than two months. So, think about it. They added a new tab, which is transmogs, and it's twenty dollars. And if you think they're not going to be selling transmogs down the road for twenty dollars, I mean, then I'll, I'll delete this video if that happens. If they don't make another transmog in the next year, I'll delete my YouTube channel. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but I'll do something if they do not make another transmog within a year. Um, <clears throat> I'll do something. So, like, something to my account to kind of, like, put my mouth, uh, put the words in my mouth is whatever the fuck the term is. Um, regardless. So we'll kind of go into the transmog and then I'll kind of get some reviews and further thoughts on this. So overall, the set itself, to me, looks fucking stupid. Um, I, this is not my style. I mean, it's definitely carnival-like. It's definitely like, you know, your uh, bank set, I guess. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to just kind of, you know, walk around Stormwind, you know, checking your auctions, like your bank tune or whatever. Um, especially because um, this is handbook level one. You can use a bank tune and <clears throat> put this on and whatnot. Uh, with that being said, though, uh, this is probably some of the most detailed gear. Um, if you've seen some of my uh, videos on the raid sets for Shadowlands, um, most of them are 3D, but there's still some 2D stuff on them, and I, I did mention that. Here, I feel like, look how much detail they put into this armor. Like, the, I, I, it just everything's 3D. Like, you have, the belt has multiple layers. You have a base layer, you have a pocket layer, and then there's like a little loop through it. So you have multiple layers of the actual gear's depth, for example, like this, um, so if I zoom in a little bit more, bring it up, oh, I guess I can't scroll it up. You have like the base shirt, then you have this overcoat, and then you have yet another layer of gear. So if you can just see though, it's like, the, they put a lot of time and effort into this. And let's just look at, I mean, cur I mean, maybe, yeah, technology changed a little bit, but I mean, let's just look at current raid sets. Um, <clears throat> and, I mean, this transmog looks better than the fucking Nihilotha plate gear. I mean, look at this, like... The, if this gear was twenty dollars, you would you could tell that this this would be three D and popping out of the gear. And don't tell me, oh well, this you know the new engine they're going into Shadowlands. They can they've updated the game before, more graphics are in it. They can revise this or 
I, honestly, I think this this technology was around. I don't know what they use, but I think this honestly, if this was twenty dollars, then this part it would be popping out, and this all would have three D chest. It would would not be looking like this in the slightest. Um, I mean, come on. I mean, this compared to this. I mean, let's just look at it one more time. And so, what that concerns me about, and the reason I'm bringing that up, um, is are they going to be trying to are they going to be selling gear that looks better than raid content? It's going to devalue collecting gear. It's going to devalue the hard work it is to put into making transmogs, because even because you know when they make a new transmog, let's say it's like um, Christmas, you'll sell Santa suit or whatever. You know the quality of that gear or that that the armor they made or the transmog essentially is going to be better than current rate gear because you're paying for it. And so honestly, that's just why I think this would be bad. I, I can just know it maybe like next Halloween or some shit they'll have like something scary looking, and that's going to kind of detract. If you look at the Cast and Etheria uh, plate armor, it would look spooky, but it'd be a shame to buy something even more spookier for $20 instead of doing the raid and getting the transmogs and grinding that transmog gear out. And I'm just worried that this transmog idea is going to really hurt, because um, there's a whole community out there who do transmogs and stuff, and I feel like this is going to hurt the <clears throat> that aspect of the game, because it's going to be paid pay to, you know, win, when, the, again, the gear is going to be most likely nicer looking than the raid content, and you can just bypass the raid content and purchase it, and it's just kind of, it's a shame, because if you think about it, we have to pay for the game, <clears throat> it's, you know, what is it, $39.99 or whatever for Shadowlands, then you have to pay monthly to use it, and then they're slapping more tra uh, macro transactions, so you're, you have to pay a monthly fee to play a game that you already paid for, and then they're going to try and kind of force you to buy better looking gear through the store. It's three layers of purchasing. Not even mobile apps do this. So that's why I'm a little frustrated with this. Uh, I hope you guys agree. Uh, but if, if I'm wrong, you know, put down in the comments why I'm wrong or, you know, if you think this is actually cool and stuff. Um, again, I think Blizzard is using this. Um, I think Blizzard's using this, you know, promotion right now with the six month subscription because think about it. What amount did they add under the subscription? The Dreadwake. Now it's twenty-five dollars. So they snuck this into the game and not didn't. The thing is, they're Trojan horses because they're um, using the guise of a service to push mounts into the game, but to sway public opinion. They're kind of giving it for you know, let's say half the population for free because they're not going to raise um, any fits about it because it was with a with a service. But as soon as it expired, they're not removing these things from the store. So think about that. Before, uh, when when uh, when Blizzard adds things <clears throat> uh, like these, you know they're supposed to help. You know, these supposed to help people out in 2019. There's a, that's its own story. Um, but again, once that event ended, they didn't remove it from the store. Um, so when Blizzard does add these different things, just think about that and uh, don't be so complacent and do raise your voice uh, and try and get this at least slowed down. I know it's not going away, but hopefully slowed down. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry I ranted a little bit, um, but I think it's important to bring up. And I know I'm not big in the, in the community or whatever, but i um, just giving you my two cents. Uh, if you do enjoy this stuff, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, tell me if you agree or disagree with my thoughts. And, uh, oh yeah, and you're probably going to need to hit that notification bell just so if I upload something cool, you'll get it. Um, that being said, see you later, guys.